Hello, viewers. This is your Michael from Screen Reviews, bringing you a new podcast from my segment called The Super Sentai Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly in case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best not to be so hard during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will attain your adult language. So basically, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording Recording will attain to our adult language. So basically, if you're under 18, you know, this are your podcast recording will attain to our adult language. And, and before I begin, I'd like to say sorry about the noise in the background. My family, my next door neighbor is trying to shell off. Apparently, my next before I begin, I'd like to say, you know, sorry for the noise in the background. If you hear some, well, like a muffling sound in the background, telling my extra neighbor bike in my, I mean, my, my next door neighbor bike is on. He's trying to. He can't cause his bike engine, so basically, you know, it's a low shut, it's a basic, it's not very loud, but, you know, in case you're wondering, what's that, that, that boom sound in the background, this is my, that's my next door neighbor's bike, <laughs> bike next door, so basically he's trying to shut out his bike, so basically, so basically, in case you were wondering, you know, what that, what that, what that, what that, what that boom sound in the background of this video, that's just, my ne- that's just my next door neighbor's bike who he can't shout out his bike at the moment for some reason. So anyway, just to let you guys know. So anyway, and also and also also letting you guys know that um I have to stuff you know so basically if I sound a bit different, you know because, you know, I have a stuffy nose, so basically, like, you know, you know, just let, let you know I have a stuffy nose today while I'm doing this recording. So anyway, let's, so anyway, let's get it, so anyway, let's get it too. So anyway, with that, with everything, with everything else to spray me, everything, and everything else out the way, let's get to the second episode of Real Soldier. So basically, this episode start off, we see, uh, we see Asura and Ko going back to what's left of the, of the team, of the Real Soldier Temple, looking for, look, uh, like, looking for, uh, looking for the, looking for the Zord. So basically, you know, Ko was kind of, was kind of sad that Troy Amigo is good. So basically, like you know, I also was like, "What?" <laughs> and Cole said, "I named my Zoro Toronto Amigo." So basically, in the series, you know, in the series, you know, the, uh, the real Star Rangers get the name the Zoro. So basically, you know, so Cole Cole named his Toronto so. Uh, and then he's all trying to amigo. So anyway, so anyway, like Arthur's, well, Arthur's like, you know, they probably went to go do, they probably went somewhere to, you know, to, you know, to, to rest for, or rest up for, to upcoming battles with the Dreadnought fortress and whatnot. So basically, we'll probably see him again once, you know, we'll probably see him again once I enjoy one another Dreadnought attack. Uh, when another Dreadnought, when the not sent another giant monster to attack them. So anyway, Metal Metal showed up and like you know and heard the conversation. He's like, like also is right. So basically, like you know, so so me, so basically we need to go find the others. We need to go find the other, uh, the rest, uh, the rest, uh, we need to go find, we need to go find. We need to go find Ryu Black, who Ryu shows the black and Ryu shows the green. That together, together we can, we can, we, together we can stop these, stop these dreadnoughts from and for all. So basically, so basically they, they, so basically they gather a few things and they, and they decide to leave the business to go find, to, to go find black and green. So basically they decide to, basically, to leave their business and head out to the outside world to to find black and green. So basically, uh, so basically, while while they were leaving the village, you know, Mellow, Mellow, aka we we which is thirty that you know, the, that monster monster that you, that uh, uh, that uh, that cold took down with the with the with his sword is 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 created by it's created by people making the motion. So basically, he's so basically. 
We saw Betty Mother was explaining how the Dreadnought created that, you know, how, you know, how the Dreadnought created Minosaur monsters. So basically, Minosaur monsters are created from people's negative emotions. So basically, he was explaining how, 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 how a Minosaur monster is how how the Dreadnought created Minosaur monster that Carl took down took down with his with his with his and whatnot. So anyway, we will so basically so basically like, you know yeah, so basically Arthur was hearing Arthur and Cole were hearing hearing what Mano had to say, but still to, so basically but still like, you know, who but still, Cole was still worried about Tornado in the west of the Dynamite Sword. And out of nowhere, we see the girl that Cole was supposed to, was supposed to erase her memory about, about the, about the, the whereabouts about the village. And she says, like, you know, the Tornado Mego looks like this. And that's the, the, girl, the, the girl that Cole met before in the first episode. So her, so, so, so them a picture of an ancient picture of Troy Amigo. So basically it's like, yo, know, once again there was a maze there's a maze at the picture and also there was a maze that, that the picture was in the phone because, you know, Beverly has not seen the phone before. So basically so basically tell her the girl's name is Lily, named Lily and they and she took them back to her father's, to her father's, you know, laboratory, like, uh, like, laboratory. So, it turns out that Lily's father, Mr. Tosimo, Mr. Tos, uh, Mr. Tosimo is a paleontologist. So, basically, like, you know, it turns out that, turns out that, you know, who turns out that Mr. Tosin had found some ancient drawings of the, of the dynamite, of the dynamite drawings to some, from, from some ancient pictures of that uh, 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 ancient book about dinosaurs and shit, shit like that. So basically so basically Lady's father found a had found a ancient book uh, an ancient book that had the drawings of the of the Wii Associates dynamite swords inside it. So basically so basically Carl the others was asking so basically, Cole and the others were asked ask, ask Lady's father that they could stay, that they could stay with him, you know, and stay with, them, stay with, you know, live at Lady's, uh, live at Lady's father, you know, live with Lady and her father at at the lab. So basically, Lady's father said yes. So basically, like you know, and Cole said that you know, Cole said maybe you could help us, help us find our comrades, like you know, our our dinosaur. You know, our a dinosaur comrade. So basically, like you say, so basically, like you know, so basically, like you know, so basically, maybe you could help us find our dinosaurs as well. So basically, Lady Father said that you should, you should your daughter, since your daughter are most likely. So basically, your resorts are based off the dinosaurs. Most likely, it's most likely you check at a river. So basically, it's the you know you know I know that. So basically, Lady's dad suggested that maybe you should check at a river. River to it's the best bet to find your dinosaurs because you know dinosaurs do do need a lot of water. So basically, at the taking of the dot, so basically. At the taking, so basically, so basically, at the taking, uh, taking Lady Dad by, you know, Carl and the others, along with Lady, went to a river and and tried to find a dinosaur. So basically, they use a special wheel show to try to find their dinosaurs. But instead, but instead, but instead, they they they, they found something else. So anyway, while that was going on, we see we see Creole, we see Creole yeah, pour some weird liquid in some jobbers. Mouth and outside this weird green, 
This weird green, this weird green blob appeared out of nowhere once Creo poured this liquid out down, the, down this man's down this man's mouth. So basically, Creo poured some weird green liquid into this into this person's mouth. And out of nowhere, this weird this weird green blob start to take, start to appear right from the man. So anyway, so anyway, a few minutes later, you know. A few minutes later, we see we see the rest of the real soldier. We see the rest of we see the real we see Cole uh, Cole and Cole and the others at some type of fencing event at some type of fencing uh, uh, tournament or some time. So, uh, they're at the fencing tournament somewhere. So anyway. So basically, like you know, they was hoping to, they was hoping to find a dinosaur. Instead, they figured that they figured maybe, uh, maybe, maybe that the, that black and green might be here, might be participating in the. It's a they don't know what black and green looks like. So basically, they figured maybe black and green must here must be competing in the extension competition. So basically last when we see the guy that Creo pulled the real liquid in the we see the guy that Creo pulled the real liquid in his mouth, you know, just finished his fiction that. So basically they so basically called out to assume that the assume that you might assume the guy might be rightly the black or the green we were so ranger. So anyway, Lady said, let, let me go ask him first. So basically, so basically the guy went outside and was staring at a picture of, a, of, his, of his wife and daughter. So basically, Lady was asking the crew, you know, like, you know, we're basically friendly conversation and shit like that, blah, 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 to the guy. Yeah, so basically, it comes up this guy's name is Mr. Mansu, Mr. Mansu, Mr. Masu. So basically, it turns out he was the great. Turns out that he he was the greatest venture in Japan. But after after his wife beat him, he kind of lost. So basically, after his wife beat him, you know, he decided to he decided to focus on his focus everything on getting his title back. So basically, so basically, so basically, Lisa was about to ask was about to ask him if he's a real soldier. But Cole, out of nowhere, is like, you know, oh, oh, are you are you are you are you, are you a real soldier? Are you real? Are you real green or real? A we black, so basically, like you know, Mr. Monster was like, "What the hell is wrong with you?" So, like, he was like, "Who's your friend?" So, basically, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, we heard a big explosion. Uh, we heard so basically that we uh, that we. Uh, Cole and I heard a big explosion so that came to the dam. So basically, Cole, Asa, and Mello went to go, uh, go to go investigate the the huge explosion for the dam, and and Lily was left with Mr. Maso, Maso, and I. So basically, when when Cole and the others left left to go check out the the big explosion at the dam, you know, that Mr. Maso started to start to uh, start to go. Green and, and and passed out on the ground right in front of Lily. So basically, at the so basically, so basically, when Cole and the rest of the rest of the wheel soldiers got to the end, there was this weird, there was this weird horse monster, there was this weird monster horse monster attacking the dam. So basically, so basically, the monster, so this monster monster is. Breaks off the horse and has a fencing sword. So basically, so basically, Cole, uh, Cole Mellow, and Asa morphed up and started to battle the monster. So basically, so basically, after a few, after, uh, after, after, you know, after a few, after you know, after a few little mishaps, you know, you know, Cole and the others managed to got the upper hand on the monster, and Cole was about to finish off the monster with a step, was was about to finish off the monster, and that's when Creo, that's when Creo and and the foot and the juggernaut foot soldiers showed up and saved the monster's lives, and Creo, Creo explained that you know, and Creo explained that you know that we. Uh, 
We back this month, this month, this month so much of was made from that fencing guy that you guys were talking to earlier. So basically, I love it. So basically, the uh, turns out that the uh, turns out that the monster, that the monster, so, uh, horse monster, was drawing energy from from Mr. Ma uh, Ma Matsu, who, who was the fencing guy that that Cole and the others met earlier. So basically, uh, it will, this monster will keep on feeding on on Mr. Matsu's energy until he dies. So basically, like, you know, you know Cole and the others just like you know we're we'll gonna stop you from doing so, and that's the take charge to out out of nowhere and. and Gave, and gave Creo and the monster the opportunity to, to escape from the, from uh, from Cole and the others. So anyway, so anyway, so basically Tank Charles, once Creo and the monster escape, you know, Tank Charles, like, you know, like, decides to leave as well. So basically, like, you know, so basically, basically, like, you know, so basically, so basically that Cole and the others could have picked down the monster with that like kick kind of take charge, you know, a parent, you know, you know, Cleo and the monster got away and uh, got away and the uh, and and Cole and the others must must destroy that monster before before uh Porter ends up killing Mr. Masu. Masu with the fishing guy. So anyway, Cole went to go for Cole went to go find, so basically Cole went to go find Mr. Matthews daughter, daughter wife to tell him about the situation that he's in the hospital and whatnot. So anyway, after Cole, after Cole found, found, uh, found, uh, found Mr. Matthews daughter and wife to tell him that he's at the hospital, that he said uh, he's in the bad condition and whatnot, and whatnot. So anyway, we see, we see Asra. We see Ashra and, and Melo, but what's that? Was was in somewhere in, in the center of the city, and they were battling the giant side to medical horse monster that was attacking the city. So basically, so basically, you know, Levi caught up the car and told that 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 Minotaur monster, that Minotaur horse monster, it's attack it had grown giant size and is attacking the city. So basically, like you know. So basically, Carl say we could, oh, uh, only we could find the diner. Uh, uh, so basically, Carl was like, you know, only we could find where, where, uh, where, where our dinosaurs are, uh, our dinosaurs are right now. And the girl said, like, you know, oh, I know. Uh, I know where the Zord is. So basically, tell that the girl say that. Oh, oh, you got giant T Rex. Oh, he got the zoo. So basically. So basically, Levi and Cole headed to the zoo, and so basically, and and found Charlie Nemo, you know, who you know was hanging out, hanging out, letting the kids play on his back and whatnot. So basically, you know, Cole told Charlie Nemo that 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 the that is we need your help, and Charlie Nemo was like, all right, then let's do, let's go. Let's go do it. So basically, you are working together, working together. You know, Toronto Amigo, Toronto Amigo, come on, uh, trying to go into his Megazord mode and work again, working with. Working with Carl, they must destroy the monster and say Mr. M M and say and say Mr. M M Mr. Minuso, Mr. Minuso, I mean Mr. Minuto's life. So basically, once the monster was destroyed, you know the monster pop. So basically, once the monster was destroyed, though. The uh, it was not good. So basically, all his all. So basically, once the Minotaur uh, horse monster was destroyed, Mr. Minotaur, Mr. Minotaur's energy was restored back to his body, and back to his body, therefore he woke up, his wife and daughter was there. So basically, you know, Cole and others meant to say, meant to say Mr. Minotaur, uh, Mr. Minotaur's life from that, from that monster and whatnot. So anyway, everything seemed good. So basically, uh, you know, Lily, so basically, we see Lily on top of the on top of a building. It turns out she recorded the whole fight, the whole Megazord fight, the whole Megazord monster fight on her phone, and she was about to pull. 
she was about to post it on her on her blog, and that's when Quill showed up and put and poured some liquor down her. <clears throat> And Queer showed up and pushed the liquid down her throat, and therefore, therefore, the liquid can, is created a a a mighty soul monster based off of based on Lily's emotions. So anyway, then we cut to then we cut to where we see we are so green and we are and, and we see we see the we see the black and green ones just practicing somewhere somewhere in the in the field. And we see this guy who walks, this masked stranger walk up to him, he's like, you know, and told, and told, and, and told Green, and, and told Green Black that, you know, I've been looking for you guys. So basically, just to have the episode in it with, with, so, with, with some stranger finding, finding, finding the Green and Black Rangers, and they find the Green and Black Ranger, you know, practicing outside. Uh, you know, practicing, in, practicing somewhere in a field, and like this bad surgeon saying that you know, I uh, that that I've been looking for you guys, and then have the episode in there with the stranger saying that you know, saying to Green and Black that you know, I've been looking for you too. Just have the episode in there. So basically, this was a. So basically, this was a. This, this second episode was not bad though. It's a good episode. It's not. A, you know, you know, I find it, I find it kind of strange that the bad guys use liquid to to create monsters, but to pour down liquid into people's mouths to to order the to order to make their monsters. It's kind of stupid, but it's kind of strange in the way. It's just kind of silly. But anyway, this episode was okay. This this was, this was an okay episode to me. So anyway, like always, this is the Michael from Screen Review signing off. One, hey, back.